What is going on guys? Ghost here and today we are back in Farm Sim 19. Back in the um AFG, I guess, roleplay server, um, construction and everything like that. So today, my truck is completely filthy. This is literally the only vehicle I've had. And I've been running around this map like crazy, but the only vehicle I had stuff. But this is kind of like the episode two of our, kind of our, I guess, uh, everyday job working, I guess. I mean, like, I really don't have a name for a series. Anyways... I got a call last night, and by the way, this is actually our new land here. I bought it, had some trees on it, but I actually paid one of my friends to cut them and get rid of because he's got a little land, uh, tree cutting company here. So, um, anyways, last night I got a call from Angelo's Pizzeria, and they're like, uh, hey, like air water tank thing busted, can you come fix it? Well, this morning I got another call, and they're like, hey, it, it you know, because I was like, yeah, I can, and they're like, never mind they think they got it well i thought their water tower was kind of like you know fake it was just kind of like oh a decorated thing but anyways apparently it, it busted overnight when nobody wasn't working and it completely washed out one of the legs there all the dirt and everything so they sent me some pictures and i was like what do you want to do they said they've been wanting to kind of put like a gravel path there to walk over to the river so we're going to grab some gravel and everything and we're going to pack it under the leg really good and we're also going to uh, make a little path on out to the um, water there. So that is what we're doing today. We're going to go ahead, I'm going to start the old truck up and let it sit here and idle a little bit. And um, we're going to grab the backhoe because uh, we have to go grab some dirt or gravel and I have a, a little fork. Uh, forklift attachment to it but we're going to go grab some dirt and everything well not dirt but some gravel from the quarry unfortunately the guy who runs it he's uh, out of town at the moment so i'm going to have to just load it ourselves. but we'll go ahead and we'll make sure we pay him and stuff next time i see him all right i'm hoping one one truckload of gravel will do it. Like I said, we do need to get like a better, a better, uh, you know, bigger dump truck and everything. No, don't do that. That's not what I wanted. Okay. All right. Now I know we are teetering, but watch this. It's kind of counter, you know, levels it. So pretty sure we gotta go get some gravel. I'm not going up to the very top because, to be honest, I don't think we'd make it up the hill. So. We're going to go ahead and head to the bottom of the quarry and grab some El Gravo for the old Angeli, Angelia, Angelina, Angelina, Angelina Pizzeria, Angelo's Pizzeria. Oh my gosh, you can tell it's one of those days. We're making it. This truck is actually filthy. I love the mud, but I wish the window kind of had like a windshield wiper clean spot. But we're going to have to end up washing it. But now there is my new land. Eventually we'll get a you know a shop and everything. Kind of like our little business that we're going to run out of. And then we're also going to uh, be getting you know, our house and everything like that. We're going to set everything up because I know the shop is the coolest thing. And my plan is when I get the shop set up, I'm wanting to basically uh, fix it. So... Like, we'll have gravel, sand, everything there. Kind of like your concrete barriers. We'll have our own stuff there. And we can just fill up the dump truck there. And I'll have uh, CJ uh, bring, you know, dirt and gravel and everything there. What does that say? Fossey Farms. Mr. Mullet Man himself. That's, that's where the Mullet Man lives right there. Got a Cummins outside. I mean, that's, that's pretty America right there. Anyways, I do want to have it so we have our gravel and sand and everything back at the air uh, little workshop so we don't have to keep going to the quarry every time because that's kind of my whole plan. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and pull right up in here and grab our dirt. Now, I ain't the first one. I actually thought about getting this land right here, but I knew we'd be too close to the quarry. And I was like, I, you know, it's like I, I want to be sitting on the front porch in my rocket chair drink me a cup of coffee or you know nice Bud Light and you know in the evening and stuff and hear you know dozers and stuff like that so 
I am going to have to reposition this. <laughs> this backhoe slides around a lot of times because it doesn't want to actually latch down too much, so I have to reposition it every now and then. Well, my rear end of my truck lifts up. Nah. Small truck problem. Anyways, uh, we'll get a big enough truck. <laughs> Anyways, so I ended up buying over there at the bridge near the water because I didn't want to be near the water stuff because you can wash the boat and everything up. So we're going to go head up on up here and throw this bad boy with some gravel in it. Alright, so we are here with the gravel. I know that he's been trying to get it all up top and everything, but we're just going to have to get it right here oh, as I drive up on like a little pile there. <laughs> All right, um, let's go ahead and lower the trailer back there. We're gonna lower it ourselves, and I know it's probably gonna take a little bit to uh, get it full, but bear with me. Still, still trying to get used to all the controls and everything like that. Especially since I am, you know, I'm using it on the keyboard. I have gravel already in it. Oh my diggity dog! I'm gonna empty it out just in case, because I know if you have anything like similar to anything else, can we just? Oh, well, look at that. I want to double check this was gravel because if you have anything else in your bucket, it won't mix. I think that's what we had problems with their sand the other day. So, oh. There we go. Oh, yeah. All right. Let's grab another one. Many more to go. Alright guys, so uh, we are loaded up. We're going to go ahead and put this back down. We're going to put this back up on the trailer. Now we're going to need this to spread it out. I do want to get me a roller and I just found out that um, there is a equipment rental place in town. So we might end up having to rent a roller one day and everything. So that way it's like we don't have to own you know every single piece of equipment. Since we are just a small little business, anyway, just starting out, so. I do want to see if we can do that. Alright. Go ahead and uh, get an old truck and uh, get that up, and we're going to make a turn here. I think. I think we might do. Are we going to make a turn? We might be able to. I think we can. Um. And we got a little bit, I thought I emptied it out. Apparently we got a little bit of gravel in the bucket. Might be because we got a little bit close to the gravel pile. I know it like contracts it. But we're going to go ahead, you know, since I, I've got a load of stuff, I want to go ahead and turn my blinky lights because I just love blinky lights. We're going to go ahead and head over to Angelo's Pizzeria. I'm pretty sure I can just go through here because literally we went through that dirt road, all that long tree road there. But I think if we go this way across the bridge, it's going to be to our left, if I'm not mistaken. Maybe. I'm very terrible with direction. But there's a company slinging dirt. He has a little uh, mobile home set up here that he's actually <laughs> renting out to people. We don't get our house built soon. I had to sleep in my truck. We might have to rent out a small uh, little mobile home until we uh, get our nice big home built. I want to do like a log house and everything, but I might have to do that. I think he's got most of them rented out and stuff. He's got his house over there. But we're gonna try to make this little climb up here. Come on, baby. It's to the floor. <laughs> She's thinking about I think this old truck will pull that big hill up there. I think it will. But uh I think we're going to take a lift here. It's going to be on out that way. I'm thinking <laughs> I'm yes, I believe so. I'm terrible at directions, but I think that is. I think it's on a straight stretch of that. Just gotta make sure it ain't they're back in and coming out, <laughs> come off the ground. Because when it does that, it's bad. Because we start 
you start drifting in a dump truck. All right, so we are pretty close. Got a little BB a BP there. We are. We got to go by. I remember they said something about going by to some kind of auto place. Jim's Auto and Farm Sale. Yeet. And I do believe this is it. We're looking for water. Yep, yeah, that's the water tower back there. We're gonna see what kind of damage is done. I was like, do you want me to block it up? And I'm like, nah. But like, I don't, apparently they don't use it that much, but there is water in it. So. Like, they're not really worried about, like, actually, like, concrete footers or anything. And that's probably why it blew out already once. <laughs> so, we're going to go ahead and go back here and assess the damage and assess what we need to do. That backhoe has moved a little bit on me. Alright, we'll leave that sucker run. We need the flashy lights going. It makes it look like we're popular. Um, let's see. Oh, oh, I do see, and that one's actually up a little bit too. Man, their luckiest thing didn't uh, tip over. Don't tip the thing over. Do do. Oh, so it must have washed it all the way down because they said it made like a big groove. It must have been like some stout water just to push all that. Unless this was ready to go, we have to watch it. They're talking about they want it gravel, so I'm guessing we're gonna build them a little gravel pop thing here. I don't think we got enough gravel, but my main concern is getting that going. So I'm gonna go ahead and unhook the trailer. Let's get it out of the way. I don't wanna leave it in the way for anybody. So we're gonna park it about right there. And I'll go ahead and let the ramps down so we can get the back go off. Um, I don't know what that was for. I was like, what in the world? So, we're going to go ahead and Oh, dear goodness, that was a, a, a heck of a turn. I think we might be able to just drop it right here. Because my main percenter is this right here. Alright. You know what? We might be able to drop some back there and then just drive frontwards over it. I think that's what we can do. Alright, yeah, because I, I wanted to get the gravel under there. Alright, and. I'll get the back over here. Oh, come on now. The wheel drive don't fail me. Alright, we'll let it go again. Alright, so we might actually have to get more gravel. I do think we're going to have to. I'll go ahead and get the back of all check it out we'll leave our lights here since we you know there is people want to be coming and going and stuff we want to be you know as safety ish as we can all right um i'm gonna put this bucket over here i know it's gonna be a lot but that is my main concern is like if we can just get this right there blocked back up Oh yeah. Perfect. Alright, so we got that right there. Well we got a little bit right there. We're gonna need a lot more uh, gravel and stuff here. I know that for sure. So um I don't know if we have any See if we uh, have anybody that wants to <laughs> make some money. If not, then uh, I guess uh, we're going to go get another one. 
we definitely got to get a bigger backhoe. I mean, a bigger uh, dump truck. I don't want to get too far over there. Alright. Angelos. I know I butchered that. All two pieces. I don't know how much he's charging. He says yeah, so... Alright. <laughs> we need to know how much it's going to be. Alright, so we're going to push this right here. Like I said, we are bringing a lot of... Of course, you don't have scripts on here, but we are bringing a lot of air. You know, how, you know... 5M, because he did slash tweet. On 5M, you do slash tweet. So, we'll bring you a lot of our role play stuff that we know, like on 5M and stuff to, uh, here. But that actually looks pretty good. We're getting it. I don't want to... 350 fill up my dump truck. Okay. We're good. And we might actually have to load this up and grab another load because I don't think we have enough. Because I want to bring y'all to here. They said they was wanting to pad and stuff. So, and we got to fill back there. So we're gonna go ahead and load this up, grab another thing of gravel, and we will have to head back here. Yeah, it's a lot of work, but you know what? I don't know if CJ's got a inloader up there or not. He usually has one. We might head there and see if he has any loader. I'm just gonna leave my backhoe here because that's a lot of you know putting and going. So right here, turn the lights off, and we're going ahead and back and get some gravel. Do -do -do -do. All right, so we are both loaded and we are heading back. This truck's a little cleaner than mine. I like that one for it. I think it sounds good too. So we're heading back to the uh, Angel uh, Angelo's Pizzeria to finish up this. I'm hoping both of these dump trucks right here will be good. If not, I'll pay him to get me another load while we're trying to flat down the other one. But um, I think this should be good. Hopefully, fingers crossed. All right, we are almost there. I'm gonna wait and make sure he's behind me, so he knows. Okay, I wanted to make sure he knows I was taking a turn there. Oh boy, he's all over the road. Um, I just want to make sure he knew I was taking a turn, and I'm all over now. So we're gonna dump this over here. I'm, I'm hoping this is gonna be enough. I owe him 350 for the gravel and stuff, so I don't know. But I mean, for this job right here, I mean. I don't want to charge too much, but we did have to bring equipment and everything, so it, it'll be a little profit. But even with me paying him, uh, you know, it'd be a profit because on these jobs, it's like I, you know, I'm like, well, this is how much it was, you know, to do this and that and you know whatever. So I want to move this, and I want to tell him. Uh, yeah, we want him to dump it right here. Oh, I love this. This is perfect. I need to get over here. All right, so do that, and then there we go. Perfect. And then right here. No, no. Right here, right here. Well, okay, yeah. <laughs> well, we can always skip it up the bucket. Yeah. Alright, so. I hate that we can't really talk in this game, only uh, through this uh, 
We'll say this, yo. How much? Alright, so we are working on a, uh, a talking uh, a way that we can communicate in here so we don't have to really do yelling or anything like that. But for now, we have to do the yelling unless we're actually in the same chat and everything like that. So we're going to give him 400 bucks. We should be pretty good. I'm going to put... Um, I don't know, it's like, I want to try to spread this down some. I wasn't going to make a little road here, but we might have to, actually, you know what, I can just grab some of this. And we might end up making them a road. <laughs> that would be pretty cool if we made them a little road there. I know we want to go ahead and pour a bunch under here. That's like... This is our main concern right here. This is what I was wanting to have done. So. Alright, that actually didn't go, <laughs> go very far. So let's grab some more. And throw it under there. Cause I just don't want that thing to tip over or anything. Because that's, that's the main thing right there. Let's go ahead and back up and get another little stab at it. Alright. Only one of us We can just get that buried under there. They can plant flowers wherever they want. I'm just here to put gravel. I'm just here to make sure it doesn't fall again. <laughs> Alright, yeah, that's filling it up. Real good around it. Okay. So we're good there. Might put some over here. That way it's the water doesn't kind of collect there. I think we'll be good there. So we'll go on this other side. Sling it around and I just popped my truck. You know what? Uh, actually, hang on. We can probably, we might end up using my truck to make the rest of the road out there here, to be honest. Let's go ahead and slap it down. Go up a little bit. All right. Yeah, so. We might use the what I have in mind, the road. I want to put a lot under here because this is like the, the main, you know, the main mamma jamma. I don't think I want to be able to actually pour any gravel underneath there. We can slow, I like this, it's like we kind of have it like slowing down a little bit. Okay, so I think that looks pretty good right there. I'm just going to smooth it down a little bit. We definitely are going to be getting a uh, roller so we can do some rolling and everything here. Um, I'm going to back up and put a little bit down toward there because it kind of wanted a little dock and that's kind of like what I had in mind. So let's go ahead and switch and we'll grab this after I run into the uh, bucket. Alright. Spin me right around, baby, right around. Alright, so back it on up. Alright, um. I think it like there might be pretty good. I don't want to go too far out. Because then we're just going to be wasting some gravel. There we go. And let's make another pass farther over. Actually, this might. <laughs> that might uh, actually cover what are all what we was wanting to be, honest. If we smooth it out. No, nah, we're going to do a little bit more. Over there, I think we'll be okay. Ugh. Thank goodness for four wheel drive. That's kind of why, you know, I like these little trucks because, you know, we can maneuver them. Alright. There, 
back down, try to pack it down just a little bit. Oh yeah. I'm just glad we got under there pretty good. That, that was my whole ordeal and everything. I was like, man, if we can't, you know, we need to make sure that ain't damaged or anything. So let's go ahead and back up and I'm gonna throw a little bit more through here. We are like, <laughs> we're teeter tottering right here. Back wheels was off the ground for a little bit. All right, that's good. All right, so we, you know, we, it's, it's built up pretty good right there. We have a little more. I might try just to uh, cover all this right here. All right, and last but not least, I think we're going to have enough, and I think this actually looks pretty good. We have one more truckload. I think we'd be okay. All right. Well, I mean, <laughs> we're done. Yeah, I don't want to push that down over there, so I'm trying to refrain on going close to that. All right. Um, looking good. I want to get the backhoe over here. I think it's just a lot better to actually push down than an actual truck truck so let's see we might have to put some right there because that's just a little dry spot this is actually looking pretty daggone good like I, I'm pretty happy with how it looks because we can come back and uh, do some raking and stuff with it but we did fix that under there put some gravel and like I said they didn't want no concrete so we can't like, well, y'all need concrete. Well, then, if they don't want it, then they don't want it. Either way, it probably would have been a little bit cheaper. Well, I don't know. Concrete's expensive as crap, so it probably wouldn't have been cheaper. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and push this up here. I think we might put this gravel right there. Because I'm trying to make a little bit, a little bit of this level. Yeah, let's put it right here. And we'll let it dump a little bit. Alright. I think we can smooth this out with the wheels. I need a roller. I think we can actually rent a roller from the rental place. I don't know how much it is. Again, I do want to start buying stuff. But some stuff, we well, a roller would be good. But if a... If we have to like trim some trees or something like that, you can rent the big, uh, oh, they're like the big giant crane arm that you can stand in. We can rent those. I know he has those there. So, I mean, if we need to rent that, that's something we don't really need to buy. So that'd be just a good rent. i rent the thing. i rent the thing. There it is. Rent the thing. Today, we're going to rent the thing. It's not like a car trying to start. Ring ding 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 Alright so um we're gonna clean up the rest of this gravel right here. I don't think we need much. I wish I could get under there, but unfortunately I can't, so it's only as far as I can go. But I mean we'll we'll clean it up a little bit for him. Alright. We got a little bit more there we need to we gotta clean up. This looks good. Man, I'm gonna try to put this as far as I can right there, because I really want that to be kind of level. So we'll just build up around here. Put like a little TP. I came in with this and I didn't have no idea what we was gonna do. This is just my thing was we just need to fix it. So I mean, I think it looks pretty good. We might put that last bucket right there beside the rear there. Because it looks like that's a little down. So three dump truck loads, which if I can get, I think they haul like ten thousand. If I get a dump truck that would haul like fifty thousand, but a smaller one style, I know they got. I know there's some F three fifties the Rano Center has. So we might just have to see how much some are. Because again, it's like I don't really want to. You know, I, we're, we're just trying to make money. That's the name of the game. Because we want to drop some money on it back on building. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and put the rest of this right down here because it's like a little drop off and 
I didn't. I don't really care for it. I wish I had some more gravel. We'd build it up right there. All right, so that made it just a little better. I mean, so now you can kind of sort of walk down here. I think it looks good. I think it looks real good. I think we I think we did a good job. We uh <laughs> we rescued that from turning over. Probably could use more gravel right there in front of us over there, but other than that, I think we did good. I'm pretty uh pretty pleased with it. Now I wanna hook the tractor, I mean uh, truck to the trailer. That way, <laughs> it doesn't lift up as easy, but it does lift the back end of the truck up because we're so freaking light right now, man. All right, and go ahead and grab this. Get the bucket set straight where we want it. All right. I know uh, <laughs> we gotta be. Bending and cut and uh, bending this rail like crazy and cutting their tires by parking on the sucker. I mean, we gotta do what we gotta do. I want to get a bigger trailer, and we also got a dump trailer. I think we can rent that, but we might have to end up buying one. I'd like to buy me another pickup, but don't really know what I want to get yet. Uh, I don't know if I want a Dodge, Chevy, or Ford, but I like the older models, really, not the. Uh, new ones but we're gonna turn the lights off and we're gone we just fixed uh finished this uh <laughs> this job up the pizza uh palace will be great for another day uh, i think we did pretty good and people go out there and stand and talk or whatever and it turn over so hopefully that'll last a little bit they shouldn't concrete the footers but uh, anyways guys hope you enjoyed the video if you did make sure you hit that like button make sure you punch that subscribe button We'll be back for some more RP construction.